Me know there's no one else like Him. Amen. He's great. He does miracles. God is still in the miracle. Amen. Praise God. Regardless of what the world might think, God is still on the throne. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm glad to know that God can take care of anything. Yes, it can. Yes, it Don't matter what it is. He can take care of anything. Good to see each one of you in the house of God to worship Him tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Psalm 68. We'll start reading in verse 1. It says, Let God arise, and let His enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate Him flee before Him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Exceedingly rejoice. Amen. Sing unto God, sing praises to His name, extol Him that rideth upon the heavens by His name Jah, or Jehovah, and rejoice before Him. A father of the fatherless, a judge of the widows, is God in His holy habitation. God setteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O God, when Thou wentest forth before Thy people, when Thou didst march along the wilderness, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai, Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Let me read that last verse again. The earth shook. The heavens also dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God. Of God, the God of Israel. Let's praise Him. Praise God. God, we love You. God, we praise You. God, we thank You for Your Spirit. We thank You for Your Word. God, use us for Thy glory tonight, God. God, touch hearts and ears to receive Your Word. We we'll praise You for it in Jesus' name. Praise God. And you may be seated. Let's all. I just want to thank God for that. Right. Amen. Amen. He's also bringing me to this thing that I had with my um, legs and my arms. Right, right. Listen, a couple of weeks ago, he wasn't able to lift that arm a few days ago, but he did. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For this little while tonight, I, I, I want to preach to you very briefly tonight, just, just simply this moved by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Moved by the Spirit. Amen. How many know we need a move of God? Yes, sir. We need God to move in our lives. We need to be moved by the Spirit. He said, "He said the earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of God, and even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God." If you go back and look, you find that on Mount Sinai that. It was where Moses received the Ten Commandments. Well, the presence of God came down in a thick cloud upon that mountain. Uh -huh. If you go back and look, the Bible said that the mount itself quite greatly. Why? Because the, the, the presence of God was there. The Spirit of God was there. If we can learn, if we can ever learn God... It, and every time I come to the house of God, I don't know about you, but every time I come to the house of God, I look for a move of the Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, I look sir. to be moved by the Spirit. Because I realize you know, that's what we need more than anything in our lives is to be moved by the Spirit of God. Amen. You know, people, people you know, question sometimes, is God really real? 
But you look, you look about at the creation and you look about at, at, at your lives and the things that God has done in your lives and, you, and we know He's real. Mm-hmm. But if a person could understand if, they, if they've ever felt the, the convicted Spirit of God, that ought to be enough to let them know God's real. Amen. Amen. When His Word convicts our heart, it's enough to let us know that God, God is real. You see, even in the beginning, in the, in the book of Genesis, when you go back to Genesis, Genesis, the first chapter, He says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Amen. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Right. See, at this time, see, this, this time, the earth, the Bible said, was without form and void. It, in other words, it was, it, was, it was water. Amen. It was water. But the Bible said that the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. What happened when the Spirit of God began to move? Amen. Everything began to take shape. Mm-hmm. Everything began to take shape. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Mm -hmm. And God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. The evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Why? Because the Spirit of God moved upon it. Amen. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the water called he seas, and God saw that it was good. Yes, but sir. even in the beginning, in the beginning, in the very creation, the Bible said that the Spirit of God moved. Yes, it did. The Spirit of God moved. Praise God. When we can realize that the Spirit of God moves upon our lives, mm. we need to respond when the Spirit of God moves. Amen. We want to, we want to move of God? Well, move when the Spirit of God moves. Yes, sir. Right. Respond to the Spirit of God. When it moves upon your heart, you know sometimes, sometimes it don't have to. It don't have to be a great move. It don't have to be some great thing that God's moving you to do. But He'll move upon you. His Spirit will move up on you if you will yes, let sir. Him move. If you will be sensitive to the Spirit of God, yeah. let the Spirit of God move in your life. We pray when we pray for revival. What do we pray for? God, let us have a have a have a move. Mm-hmm. Let's have a move of God. Let's have a move of God in this service tonight. Let us have a move of God Wednesday night. Why? Because we know what will take place and what will happen when the Spirit of God moves. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. The children of Israel, God, God when, when they were in the wilderness, God would lead them uh, in a cloud by day and a pillow of fire at night. So when that cloud would move, they would move. When that pillar of fire would move, they would move. Mm-hmm. It's the same way. It's the same way today. When God moves, we need to be ready to move. Amen. I want. I want. You know, when God when God moves us, when God moves us, it's usually to draw us closer to Him. Mm-hmm. He moves us up. He moves us up. Praise God. Praise God. The Bible said in the book of Judges, the 13th chapter, in verse 24, it said, And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson, and the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. Mm-hmm. The Lord blessed him. Yes, sir. Now notice this. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Esther, the Spirit of the Lord began to move him. Mm-hmm. What would happen when the Spirit of God would move him? Well, Samson 
was able, the Spirit, the Bible said, the Spirit of the Lord would come on him mightily. Amen. And when the Spirit of the Lord would come on him mightily, he was able to do great things. Amen. Kill a lion with his bare hands. Run off of the gates of the city. Tied the fox's tails together. <laughs> and slew thousands of Philistines. Amen. With only a jawbone. He was able to do great things. Why? Because the Spirit of God would move upon him. Would move upon him. And we, church, we, we today, when the Spirit of God needs, moves upon us, we need to move with it because no telling what God will do in your life if you'll move when the Spirit moves. Amen. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 8, the Bible said, In a very great multitude, spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed Christ saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved. All the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Mm -hmm. They were moved at the presence of Jesus. Amen. The whole city was moved at the presence of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Could I tell you, every time we come into the house of God, we come into the presence of God? Yes, sir. Amen. I know, I know some of you think, why don't we feel Him? And sometimes why we feel Him in others. When, of course, when two or three are gathered together, the Bible said, He said that, He said, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. So we know that every time we walk in this building, we come into His presence. And when we come into His presence, He moves according to how willing we are to let Him move. Mm -hmm. how, how receptive we are to the Spirit that is in this place. A lot of times, the way He moves depends on the way we worship. It depends on how we receive Him. When Jesus came into the city that day, they began to throw, throw palm uh, branches down and began to say, Hosanna, blessed is He. They were worshiping, blessed is He that comes in the name of the Lord. And they were worshiping so this Jesus as he was riding through the Bible said because of them crying out because Jesus was Man, coming to that Thank city that Jesus. day that the whole city was moved. Mm -hmm. They wanted to know who it was. Amen. Who it was. I want to tell you when Jesus is in the house we need to move. Yes sir. And when Jesus is in the house anything can happen. That city was moved at the presence of Jesus. We need to be moved at the presence. You know, a lot of people just let me put it this way: some people just stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> they just stubborn. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. Won't move when God wants them to move. Won't do what they know they need to do. We just, you know. Some people won't show up on Sunday night because they're afraid they'll have to move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. I've been, I've been in this long enough to know. Because some won't show up on Sunday night because the presence of God shows up on Sunday nights. And, and a lot of times we have a move of God on Sunday nights. And they know if they show up on Sunday nights that the Spirit of God will move upon them. And they don't know how long they resist it. Bless Him, Lord.
Hebrews the 11th chapter, the 7th verse says this. By faith, knowing, no, by faith Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. Moved with fear. Why? Because he was warned of God. He was warned of God to move. And Noah was warned of, warned of God to move. Get up and do something. He told him to get up and prepare an ark. So by faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Noah did. Why? Because he was moved of God. He moved when God said moved. He was moved with fear. Listen, when we read the word of God, he said, he said, of things not seen as yet. He hadn't seen the flood yet. The flood hadn't came yet, but God said there was a flood coming. Right? Amen. And God has warned us of what's coming upon this earth and has warned us yeah. mm -hmm. to get prepared for what's coming. Amen. And get prepared to leave here. If we could be like Noah and be moved with fear, not, not, not a, a fear or a reverence of God, the fear of God. Amen. And move. Get up and do something. Get up Get up and do something about the situation we're in. Yes, get up man. and do something about our soul if Amen. we're not ready to be. Move when the Spirit say. Move when the Spirit says. Move. Amen. Right. What's that song, song I hear on the radio oh, sometimes it says when the Spirit said move, I got up and went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there at an altar of repentance I knelt. Praise God. When Bless the Spirit Lord. said move. <clears throat> Second Peter 1 and 21. He said, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but by holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. As they were moved by the Holy Ghost, they spake. They wrote this down. They wrote this down for you and I so we could move. We could move by the inspired Word of God that was inspired by the Holy Ghost. My prayer is God move us from where we're at. Amen. To where you want us to be. Amen. That, sh that should be our prayer. God move us from where we're at. God move. Move this church from where we're at. I'm talking about the spiritual state we're at now. Yes, sir. Move. move. I, because if we stand still, we're going to die. Uh -huh. if, you, if, if you stop going in God, you're going to die spiritually. Now we've reached we've reached different plateaus in our worship. We've reached different plateaus in our praise. We've reached different plateaus in, in our walk with God. But don't be satisfied with where you're at. Pray, God, move me from where I am, I'm at to where you want me to be. Amen. And I want to be where God wants me to be. Yes, certainly. I want to be moved by the Spirit. I want to be moved by the Spirit. You know, people say serving God and worshiping God, and, 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 and you know that shout and stuff. That's just just a bunch of emotion. No, it's not. Some of it is, it's emotion that's caused by the move of the spirit. Mm -hmm. It's emotion caused by the move of the spirit. Mm -hmm. When God moves, when God moves, let's be ready to move. And church, I sincerely believe tonight God wants us to move up to another level. Another level in our worship, another level in our praise, mm -hmm. another level in His Spirit. Why? Because if we can begin to lift God up, Amen. begin to lift Jesus up in such a manner, Mm. It'll draw up again. When they see, you know what? 
attracts people to, to come to church when a church is really on fire for God. Mm -hmm. You know what they call it? They're having a move of God. That church is having a move of God. I believe I'll go out there and see what's going on. Right. Mm -hmm. When we're moved by the Spirit, Church, I want to be moved by the Spirit. I want, I want this church to have a move of God like never before. Amen. Praise God. And I believe it's coming. Yes, sir. I, I believe agree. it's coming. When we can be moved by the presence of God, we can be moved by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. I don't believe... that what we're teaching, what we're preaching, and what we're teaching on Wednesday night, I don't believe it's going to be in vain. That's a door. Because I believe the Spirit of God is about to move this Amen. place. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. And I want to be a part of that move. Yes, sir. I don't want to be left behind. Do you know if, 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 if when the children of Israel moved from the spot they were camped at and that cloud got up and, and in the day and, and, and led them on, if some of them had just sat, sat there and they'd been left behind, mm -hmm. So when the Spirit of God moves, we can move with it. Amen. Yes, sir. And we can be left behind. I'd rather move with the Spirit. Yes. Praise God. I said, I'd rather move with the Spirit. Let's stand. How many wants to move with God? How many Thank desire to move with God? Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Not only in this place, but in your life. Desire to move be moved by the Spirit. When we're moved by the Spirit, we grow in God. Our knowledge and our faith in God become stronger when we're moved by the Spirit. And anything, anything is possible when we're moved by the Spirit. Praise God. Let's worship Him as they say.